This is a digital story about the life of Ben Franklin by Julie Ford. Ben Franklin was born in Boston, Massachusetts in 1706. He came from a large family of 17 brothers and sisters. He began working with his brother at a young age in a print shop. His brother taught him how to print books and newspapers. In the 1700s, it was not uncommon for kids to begin work at an early age. Ben's father wanted to send him to school, but could not afford it. The process of printing was a difficult task and very time consuming. The black ink that was used to print came from ash from the fireplace. The machine in this picture would press down a big block of wood, therefore it was called a printing press. Once the image was pressed and printed, it was hung to dry. This is what the printer looked like in the past. Very different than what our printer looks like today. Today, our printers do not need to be pressed. This is what our printer looks like. With a click of a button, we can get a paper printed almost instantly. A lot faster than what it was in the past. Ben loved to read. Even though he did not go to school, he taught himself how to read. He loved reading so much that he decided to open his own print shop in Philadelphia. He even started his own newspaper called the Pennsylvania Gazette, pictured here in this photo. Ben was very helpful and made sure that Philadelphia had a fire department, a hospital, as well as paved and lighted streets for nightly security. With Ben bringing these things to Philadelphia, it became the most advanced city of the 13 colonies. Today, we have a fire department as well as hospitals all over, which was very different than it was in the past. Today, this is what our streets look like. They are paved roads and there are lighted streets to drive on, just like there is in this photo. Ben Franklin made many inventions. He invented the Franklin stove, the lightning rod, and bifocals. The invention of the Franklin stove produced more heat than the present stoves at that time. It also used less firewood. In the past, there weren't any heaters where you could turn on and off like there is today. This is another picture of what the Franklin stove looked like in the past. Today, we use a thermostat to control the temperatures in our house, much like this one in our picture very different from what we used to use in the past during Ben Franklin's life. One of Franklin's experiments involved him flying a kite in the storm. The reason he did this was to test to see if electricity is present during a lightning storm. He could prove this with his kite experiment. The invention of the lightning rod evolved with this experiment. The lightning rod protects tall buildings from getting struck by lightning and catching fire. This is a picture of the lightning rod he began creating in the past based on his kite experiment. The creation of the lightning rod evolved and was eventually used. Here is another picture of his invention of the lightning rod. Lightning rods are used today. This picture shows a lightning rod on top of the Empire State Building which is located in New York City. Even in downtown Atlanta, Georgia, the Peachtree Weston Plaza has a lightning rod on top of the building to prevent it from being struck by lightning. Ben Franklin invented glasses called bifocals. These glasses help people see near and far since they had two different types of lenses. These glasses are still used today as shown in this picture. Ben Franklin's inventions improved lives, not only in the past, but also in the present. You may have seen the face of Ben Franklin on a $100 bill.